Hey, this is Galdoc with the year-end update. I want to show you all the cool stuff we've been working on throughout the year of 2021. So the first thing I want to show you is the new helmet animation and the DMR overhaul. As you can see, the graphics have been redone, but so too has the sound. Hopefully all of this gives the gun a much nicer feel. The starting pistol animations also got a little bit of love thanks to Carrot. So go have some fun with that. Next up, both of the hidden weapons got some updates. The first is the MP40. Screw those dog tags. These animations were brought to you by IKDFA. And the art itself was brought to you by Metal Man, I think. Oh my god, what's this thing called? Next up is the other hidden weapon, the MG42, which has some amazing animations by AKDFA. While you don't have to reload this gun because the ammo belt goes on forever, it will overheat after 100 rounds. And if that happens, you can press the reload button to change out the barrel. I would not want to be on the other side of this. Next up is one that is really exciting. This is more than just a graphics overhaul. This is a gameplay overhaul of the LMG, which upgrades the carbine. Sprites by Metal Man and Carrot, animations by IKDFA. So for all of you that missed the HMG, I promise you'll like this one. The primary fire is what you would expect. It shoots bullets. The secondary fire shoots micro-missiles. And yes, you can actually hurt yourself with them. Wow, okay, so just be a little careful. I'll leave you to discover some of the details about it, but go have some fun. The plasma gun also got a graphical overhaul. I did the weapon respect, Carrot did the art, and a bunch of the animations here. As you can tell, there's also some new sound design. Next up is the Revenant Quick Launcher. This is the drop you get sometimes when you kill a Revenant. It's no longer a weapon that you use and have ammo for. Instead, now it's an on-use item. Once you pick it up, just use your equipment wheel to select it. And you're off to the races. As you can see, the graphics have been updated, and that is a very nasty attack. Using the new sprites carrot made for the updated minigun, I also redid the weapon respect. Some sweet pseudo 3D goodness. The Desert Eagle got some updated firing animations. There have been some updates to the way the freezer works. To see it, grab one and swap over to beam mode or freeze ray mode. And when you shoot it, 
you'll now see these crystals appear. These crystals aren't just graphics, you can actually move on them. You can walk on them, you can jump on them, and you can even make them grow larger. Just keep shooting at them, but you can build some barricades and you can get higher up if you need to. You can also destroy them. And they do melt over time, as you can see. You may be able to think of some clever uses for that in certain maps. The next thing I want to talk about are the updates to the barrels. In the base game, you have the nukage barrels, which you can shoot, and the flaming barrels, which don't really do anything. In Project Brutality, we allowed you to pick them up, and same thing with the flaming barrels, and you could throw them. Of course, you would need a Berserker pack if you wanted to do that, but you were more than welcome to. We've added a couple more updates. Not only is there now a frozen barrel, but you've got a couple more options about what you can do with the barrels. Now, you do not need a Berserker pack in order to pick these up, and I can show you by switching to the fists and show you that it's the non-Berserker style. But what you do is you go up to the barrel and you press the Use key, and then either primary or alternate fire will set it back down. So you can basically just move it around. So what you can do is set some traps and shoot them. All right, yay. This works with the flaming barrel as well, which has a different kind of explosion. And same thing with the frost barrel. You don't want to be too close because you still will take damage. This also puts down these frost crystals that you saw earlier. If you get the Berserker pack, then you can throw it, just like usual. Now you can see I've got the Berserker fists, and you can pick these up and throw them. Whee! Uh, you can also set them back down so you can pick it up, and if you press Alt-Fire, you'll set it back down. Curse Blue. Woohoo! You'll also notice we've put some damage states in there, so sometimes you can see if the barrel's been shot up a bit, but that's not all. You can also strategically prevent some of these things from happening. So for example, if I come over here and shoot this a few times, you'll notice its pain state is the leaking state. So now if I destroy it, it doesn't explode. So you get no explosion. So sometimes if you don't want to deal with this thing, then you can just like empty it out if you wish. The other thing is you can also change them. So if I give all and then I equip the flamethrower, I can come over here and turn them all into flame barrels. Or if I wish to, I can bring out the freezer and turn them all into frost barrels. I would expect these things to change a little bit in the future as we're gonna be tweaking exactly how it works and damage and all that. But if you would like to spawn them in, it is summon nukage barrel, summon flame barrel, and weirdly, summon Barrel Frozen. I'm gonna to try to get them to change that to Frozen Barrel, but whatever. Uh, for right now, there they are. You can also shoot barrels with plasma guns for a neat explosion. It's a shockwave effect in there. There've also been some changes to the way the game handles frozen enemies. If I go ahead and summon something in, and then freeze him. Uh, you can usually do what you do and shoot him and it'll explode and all that good stuff. You'll notice his feet are sliding though and that kind of brings me to the point I'm trying to make. So if I go back here, oops, there we go. Freeze him up and then if I kick him, he'll go sliding and he'll just keep going until he hits something. Like kind of comically so, like, you know, probably need to tune that a little uh but yeah so you can now play around with that a bit there's a couple of more changes but i'll let you discover them in game uh just go have some fun with the freezer and you'll probably figure it out also if for some weird reason you don't like our crappy hats the way you disable them is you go into the menu project brutality and festive hat simulator mode tragically can be turned to off now you won't notice any effect in game you're going to have to start a new one but when you do, you will notice a substantial decrease in the festivity of the zombies you're killing. The last thing I'll mention is that there have been some optimization updates and we've got a couple of things to look forward to. The HDMR or the heavy DMR is animation complete, but it's not quite in the game. Pain still has decoded in and I'm currently working on a revamp of the BFG. So I hope you look forward to that. I hope you enjoyed the update. If you want to play what we've got so far, click on the links in the description and head on over to the Discord. Take care of yourself, be good to each other, and have a happy 2022.